I think the biggest misconception of wrestlers is that, you know, you don't eat to lose weight. It's a different element for them because they don't really understand all that. Let's talk about weigh-ins. We've never experienced doing weigh-ins because of COVID. Right, yeah, so our younger guys, a lot of times they would go to an event and there wasn't, it was honor system. He said the guy weighs 60 pounds, we'll take your word for it. If he comes and he's like, you know, six foot tall, yeah, obviously he's not. It's a different element for them because they don't really understand all that. And we don't also want them to be obsessed with it either. But when you're in a travel team, you definitely have to qualify for your weight class. You have to make weight. That's a different dynamic that's different than other sports. You know, if you show up for basketball or soccer or football, Maybe football might be similar in some respects where bigger kids have to do that, but most of the kids don't have to do those things. So it is something that is going to take some maturity and getting used to for them. The good thing is that the leagues, they also keep in mind that kids tend to grow and sometimes they tend to grow in the winter. So they give growth weight at certain points. Each league does it differently, but that'll be kind of a, a, a relief for some of them that might be fighting a little bit of that mm -hmm. that's going on in the winter time for them. I mean, maybe one or two pounds isn't a big deal, but for somebody to cut more than five pounds, right? Probably... The percentage in their body is is it's higher. So, yeah. like, if I lost five pounds, not not that big a deal, but somebody who's you know only about forty five pounds, at least five pounds, that percentage changes dramatically. Mm -hmm. So it's all relative. Yeah. Uh, for the most part, the kids are I think are starting to to, to click in. We kind of threw them right into it. They had three matches last week, that group, so I think they're starting to understand now mm -hmm. that they have to step on the scale and make the weight before they can wrestle. I think the biggest misconception of wrestlers is that, you know, you don't eat to lose weight. And in my experience, you know, I'm teaching my son how to eat right, right. versus not eating. Better foods, uh, less sugars, uh, time of day when you eat too is important. Mm -hmm. Like you want to eat in the morning because that starts off the whole metabolism at night late at night you really don't want to eat but you can you can treat yourself too like if you've you, you, you've had a long day of wrestling and then you want to go have a cheeseburger that's not bad because your body's going to burn it off working hard is really our premise like if you work harder the weight will come off mm -hmm. but we're not very weight obsessed in the program we really want kids to wrestle kind of where their natural weight is and not cut weight my own son is probably about three pounds under the weight class he wrestles and we have another boy at 112 who's probably about at this point, I'd say about five or six pounds lighter than the weight. And we're always telling him, eat more, eat more, because we want him to be heavy enough to, to compete. But he's, he's tough and strong enough that he can make up for it, even if yeah. he's a little lighter.